And of course, what kind of birthday would it be without a celebratory Starbucks free birthday beverage here? Let me tell you what this is. I've got the Vente chocolate cookie crumble. You may know the mocha cookie crumble, but I got a chocolate version because it has no coffee in it. It also has two scoops of matcha powder. You'd normally have four scoops in there if it was a regular green tea matcha frappuccino. So two scoops of matcha powder and two squirts of raspberry syrup. She said, if you don't like it, bring it back. We can try something else, but I'm excited to give this one a shot, let you know what we think. Let me take a picture first. I almost forgot. Mm. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had a frappuccino. Mm. Let's do this thing. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So good. So good. Oh, they were watching inside for my reaction. It was so funny to see them reacting to my reaction in there. Really, really nice team here. Amazing flavors, that matcha powder with the raspberry syrup, chocolate cookie crumble. Fantastic. I love it. Definitely give my makeshift recipe here a shot. If you're interested, if it's your birthday, maybe. Honestly, I think that's one of the best frappuccinos I've ever had here. Amazing recommendations here at this Starbucks in Kyle. I'm in Kyle right now with the cookie crumble with the two scoops of matcha, two scoops of raspberry syrup. So, so good. I think this is going to be dinner right here because, you know, it's so many calories and I should make sure that I'm not consuming too many calories. And I'm not really that hungry anyways. So sugary dinner, delicious dinner. Let's do it. Just kidding, I know I said I wasn't gonna eat anything because it was late and I had a lot of calories and sugar today, but I'm gonna eat. I'm here at Trudy's. I've not been at Trudy's in, again, in years, as most places out here. I'm getting the stuffed avocado. Used to love that stuffed avocado. I don't really remember what's in it, but I just kind of went for it. And we're getting it with charro beans. They've got onions and bacon in them. Let's see how it is. And of course, chips and salsa, right? Here are the chips and salsa at Trudy's, you can see two types of salsa. Not really sure what either one is about, but it sounds like I'm early enough. There's still like an hour and some change before they close. Although it is quite open in here tonight. It's not a lot of people joining us weekday evening, you know, pretty slow, I guess. So let's try this stuff and see how it goes. Trying this brown salsa first. I haven't even looked at the menu either, but I'm trying this brown salsa. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, really unique salsa, a little bit spicy in there. I feel like you got some good vegetables going on. Unique, strong kind of spice flavor in that one. I like it. Next up, red salsa. Mm. Mm. Strong tomato flavor, not too spicy. And both of them make for a nice combo. Definitely a strong vegetable flavor or a lot of kind of tomato or vegetable component to both of them, which I like. A very true, strong salsa. So I scanned the barcode on the table and it looks like it's mostly a drink menu. So if you're looking for drinks, definitely some options here. Don't know where that full menu is but maybe I'm just on the wrong tab. I was on the wrong tab. You gotta click the thing at the bottom and then you'll see food menu right there. There's two pages of bar menu though. Nice. Ooh, that salsa spicy too. Here it is on the menu. You've got the stuffed avocado right up there. It looks so, so good. They've got a variety of options, breakfast options and so much more here. Here it is, stuffed avocado. I vaguely remember it. Looking at this right now, I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of cheese going on there. You don't really see an avocado, but I think it's beneath that. Really excited to dig back into this one and let you know how it is. Let's try this stuffed avocado. It looks so good. I remember it looking kind of like this. I think under that cheesy layer is more avocado. Yeah, but it's like a fried avocado or something. Yeah. Filled with chicken. Look at that. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember this one being good. It's good. I like it. Mm. Oh, yeah. I remember this one being good. It is still good. I know a lot of people may wonder, what is this stuffed with? So the stuffed avocado is a fried cracker crumb breaded avocado stuffed with spiced chicken and cheese. So it is kind of a burrito taco avocado. It's got more cheese, rice, and beans here on the side. So good stuff. So chicken and cheese stuffed avocados, I mean, only makes sense, right? You gotta love it. To give you a visual, take a look in there. Some kind of chicken on that side. You can see some breaded avocado right there on the left and that cheese on top. Really great flavor, a little bit spicy, like slightly spicy, but definitely not too spicy here. Overall, delicious food. So, you know, I had a lot of calories today, so I've only made it about halfway through and this stuffed avocado, but I think I'll go ahead and get in the box here. Overall though, really do enjoy the flavors on this one with that spicy, it's like lightly spicy with the kind of chicken and cheese going on. Of course, plenty of avocado flavor going on. And I think they're gonna do a free dessert for my birthday as well, which is very kind of them. 
So we'll try that as well, let you know what we think. Look at these Sopapillas to go here at Trudy's. Wow, these look fantastic. I'm not even really sure how all this works, but we'll find out. There's some sauces back there. I'm not really sure. Oh, there's honey. That's honey. This is a bready looking thing. And that smells like a buttery, creamy butter or something. So <laughs> we'll find out. So what is this? It's just ice cream. It's oh, just this a, is ice cream. It's, it's just a scoop of vanilla. Yeah. Okay, okay. It comes with the Sopapillas. Most of the time when we present it on the plate, you uh, have the uh, ice cream just, you know, touch them and it'll seep into it. Gotcha. Make it nice and creamy and good as cool. it melts. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Thank you. Okay, so discover this is a block of ice cream here. This is like a bready thing. You'd normally put the ice cream on the bready thing. It seeps in there. So I'm going to try a little bit of ice cream with the bready thing, let you know what we think, and then we'll be on our way. See, I'm not sure a fork and knife was actually appropriate for this thing. It kind of looks like a finger food, but I'm going to try a little bit as is, then a little bit of ice cream. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Look at that. Mmm, it's like a churro. It's not quite as sugary as a churro, you know, not as sweet as a churro, but I really do enjoy these, like a bready, you know, cinnamon, bready, crusted thing. I like it. Let's try it with the ice cream. Mmm. 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 Mm, that's the way to do it. I don't know if that's like a vanilla bean ice cream instead of just traditional vanilla or something like that, but really great flavors together. Fantastic combination of the two. Definitely, if you're gonna get sopapillas, put your ice cream on there, give it a shot. Let me try a little bit of the ice cream as is. It's almost like an eggnog or an horchata ice cream. I think it's just really creamy, kind of vanilla-ish flavored ice cream. I like it. Maybe cinnamon? Maybe it's tres leches. I don't know. Overall, fantastic options. Dessert and that dinner. I like it. I'm excited to eat more ice cream and more sugar, oh my gosh, in the coming days. Overall, Trudy's a very solid spot to check out. If you're looking for some delicious Tex-Mex style food, check out Trudy's. Let me know what you think. I want to give it maybe an eight and a half at least out of ten here. Definitely a winner. I got a Vente chocolate cookie crumble with two scoops of matcha powder and two squirts of raspberry syrup. It just sounded so good. She said, you know, you can put whatever you want in it. And so I'm excited to try this one. She said, if you don't like it, we can make you something else, but I don't know about that. It also has two scoops of matcha powder. You'd normally have four scoops. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so good, so good at this Starbucks. Amazing flavors. If you put that matcha, really, really nice team here. So really, I would say, I would say this has to be one of the best frappuccinos I've ever had right here. Unbelievable flavor with that combination, thanks to their recommendations here at Starbucks. I think this is gonna be dinner right here because, you know, I shouldn't be eating that much more calories. Just kidding, I'm gonna be eating dinner. So the stuffed avocado is a fried cracker crumb. I know a lot of people may wonder, what is this stuffed with? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. Okay, so discovered this is, and it soaps, it seeps in there. So that's the way to do it. I don't know if that's vanilla ice cream or if it's, you know, like a vanilla bean, something like that. 